This building here can store ice in the middle of the desert without using any electricity or energy. What's crazier is that these buildings were made over 2000 years ago and scientists are trying to find a way to bring them back in order to save and cool our cities. You see the problem is simple, cities are hot and they're getting hotter. But take a look at these images. These buildings are identical, yet they're found in four completely different climates. If we reverse the clock a little bit to a few hundred or thousand years ago, that would not be the case. But let me show you how this works. This is known as a yakal, and ancient Persians used them throughout their empire in order to store food or create things like ice cream. The way it works is by directing air underground and through an aqueduct, which significantly cools it and then forces it up through the main chamber. And this is not a typical building, because the walls of this main chamber are made out of slurouge, a type of mortar that, get this, were made out of sand, egg whites, clay, lime, goat hair, and ash. It might sound crazy, but it's actually a great combination of things to keep it completely watertight and very temperature resistant. And a similar system was actually used in order to create ice when the outside temperatures were favorable, like during the night. Again, no electricity and no fuel required. Which begs the question, why are modern buildings so bad at using energy efficiently? The ancient world was full of examples of energy efficient architecture, sky wells like the ones found in China, or aqueduct-based systems throughout ancient Greece and Rome, and even terracotta wind catchers that were made to order in a way that could even provide refrigeration in homes. So I wonder, do you think the future of our cities looks more like this or more like this?